Hey guys, it's me, Girl Michael, back with another video, and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a GFX intro without Blender. I know, pretty cool. So I know a lot of people would use Blender, but like either they can't install it or something like that. Or like it's taking too long to render because I know for me it took way too long for rend to render. Anyway though, once you get in, you're gonna click base plate in, Ro in Roblox Studio. <laughs> Can't talk. But as you can see, I have all these plugins. It's only it's actually only two plugins, but it just looks like there's more since um one came with all that stuff. Anyway though, um make sure you have all these things open. You don't have to have the properties open, but you need to have the explorer and the toolbox open. Okay, anyway. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your toolbox and you're gonna, right where it says models, you need to click plugins and then search um, moon animator. And then the first thing that pops up should be moon animator and um, click on it and click install. Um, I can't see it right now cause mine's being weird but it should look like that. At the top of my screen you can see moon animator. It should look like that. Then just click install. Click on it and then click install. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is you're gonna, like once you have it installed, click character inserter in plugins, and then you're gonna type in your username if it's not already there. You can also type in other people's usernames too. I'll show you right now. All right, so you can type in anybody's username, just type it in right there. Um, It should show a code after you type it in, and it should show your character, but anyway, once you have it on, make sure you click R15 and not old R15 or something else. Just make sure you click R15. I forgot to say that. Um, but once you have your person here, you can um, go in back towards his plugins on the side where it uses the models. Click models. And then um, just go to those like three little lines right there. And then type in fairy j hole you can also just type in aesthetic bedrooms or whatever um thing you want for your background so yeah but anyway now you're gonna go find a background i'm just gonna choose a random one but you can choose anyone you want i'm just gonna choose this one because it looks really nice. oh actually that one actually looks really nice um but yeah you can go ahead and choose this one or what whichever one you want to and then once you position your character, we can get started. So as you can see, my mine is just really nice, just really cool right here. Um, yeah. <laughs> now you're gonna position your character right there or, or wherever you want to. But don't make any movements with your character because you have to do that in animating or it won't work. So once you have it there, be there. Um, once you have it there, though, you can just go ahead and um, go to plugins and click your moon animator. Um, this one, this is actually the hard part of doing it. So yeah, just want you to be aware of that. But before you click the moon animator, you can change your face. Go click the little arrow beside your name in Explorer and scroll down to see head. Click the arrow beside head and there should be an icon that says face click on face open properties go to explore go to images instead of models and search whatever face you want i'm going to search super, super duper happy face because my dream face <laughs> so um yeah once you do that click the little um magnifying glass and click copy asset uri and then you're going to go into properties and go to texture and then paste it right there so Control v all right, um, make sure you don't have one that has a white outline on it though, because that would just be really bad. It will just not look good. It will be horrible. I, it's just, just no. Don't do it, guys. It's not a good thing to do. It's not good because then it looks really tacky and weird. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, now um, I'm going to show you actually how to do the animating part. So now you're gonna go plugins and moon animator, click on that. It should show this thing. You can go ahead and close out of the toolbox properties in Explorer. 
And now you can make this as small or as big as you want. I try to make it as small as possible, though, so that I can actually um, have more screen. Because <laughs> if I don't, then I don't have much screen space usually. So, yeah. But now what you're going to do is going to click File, click New Animation, and name it right there. And then click Confirm. And I can click this little put plus, and then um, make sure... Go back, you have to go back to Explorer, click on your username, and it should pop up right there. And then um, make sure rig is, make sure the C frame is not selected and the rig is just selected. All right, guys, so now what you're gonna do is after you do that, you're gonna actually start with the animating. So first you're gonna do your start position. The start position is really easy. You just, you just have to use these arrows when you click on something. So when you click on something, it just moves that. So say for the leg I'm doing right now. By the way, it moves the whole leg if you do the top part of the leg. If you do the bottom part of the leg, it does that part of the leg and the foot. And same with the top part of the leg, but it does the top part of the leg and the other part of the leg and the foot. But that also works for the arm. Um, also, you just have to click on everything. And by the way, to rotate, it's just really easy. Just when you click on stuff, it show that the rotating thing or the arrow thing and um it just works <laughs> um so just keep on rotating and yeah and by the way to go to the arrow thing click r on your keyboard on your keyboard r on your keyboard to go to the arrows so once you do that you can just do whatever really <laughs> so just Start doing so once you finish your start position, you can go to the, to the other stuff. But first, I want to finish my start position, so yeah. But my, the one that I'm doing right now is gonna be a little messy, but you can, but of course, you got you guys can do a lot better than I am on this one. But you know, in the end, I'll show the finished product, but not this finished product because I don't actually have this finished product saved because I'm not going to save it because I um. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't want, I'm just not going to save it. So, um, yeah. The, what in the world? <laughs> but yeah, you can, if you click the lower torso, you can also move the whole body. Let's move that over. And you're going to go, now we're going to go ahead and go over to toolbox again. And, um, we're going to go ahead and get a light. Um, before we get a light though, I want to get a sky. You can pick any sky. I just picked this guy. Um, but you can pick any sky, really. All right now, we're gonna go to the actual animating part. So once you have your start position, you're gonna move that thing over like I did. Um, make sure I move it over really good, like not too much, but not too far, but pretty far though. So, because if you have it too close, then it's gonna be really fast and it's just not gonna look right. But anyway, you're just gonna do your second visit. Just gonna do the second position now. Um, in Roblox Studio, it's not the same as Blender, so it is a little bit weird when you're animating, but it's really fine. It still looks good if you just make some adjustments. So now you're just gonna make your, but now you're just making your second position. It's really easy actually to do this part. The animating part is probably, probably the only hard part, but it's not really hard. Um, it just takes so long. It just takes a little bit of time. This didn't really take me a long time though because I already knew what I was doing. But the first time I actually tried this stuff which was the, my intro, um, I was really, I was struggling a lot, and yeah, it took a while for me to actually figure it out more, but I did get the hang of it. But anyway, I'm just gonna, um, talk while I do this part, but basically, it does take a little bit, but you'll get used to it, and it'll be a lot easier and a lot faster. But the first time I did it, it took me, like, forever and I kept on having to restart because my computer was being really weird for some reason. So, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, though, you can also add props, but you could probably, but I'm pretty sure you can't move the props, so you would have to keep that hand in the same, in the same thing, if you know what I mean, like, in the same position. Yeah. So, yeah. That's the only downside about this. As you can't move the props, but some props you can move, like an Adopt Me Dog, you can move. By the way, if you want to replay it, 
you can always use space bar if your moon animator thing is clicked just make sure if you want to replay it just click space bar and then and then you will have um your thing if that makes sense <laughs> you have like you'll basically be able to play it like i'm doing right now you can play it over so yeah you can play it over the video <laughs> if you have if you just click spacebar it'll play out the video so yeah i don't know if that makes sense if that made sense at all but i'm hoping it was okay well that's gonna be my animation i think i'm finished okay now you're gonna probably wonder how to add how to add a camera but before we add a camera or anything we need to go to um the view open your explorer before we go to the camera thing, we need to add a light. So let's do the warm light. So I like to search warm light because it works a lot better than regular light, white light. So yeah, because I forgot all about the light. So we need to do the light really quick. But basically, you're just going to get the light and put it under the thing you're working on. I forgot to say also, um, delete the base plate. Please delete the base plate. The base plate. <laughs> I forgot to say that, but yeah, make sure your light is under, kind of under the, um, what is it called? Uh, under the model you're using, like your background. So yeah. Anyway, though, we're going to click camera, add camera, and then make sure you have C frame collect, um, selected. C frame. Make sure you have C frame selected and not any of the other stuff there. Anyway, though, once you have your first camera shot, basically, before we do any of that though, make sure you go to, like what I'm doing on the side right now, <laughs> um, go to camera, click the little arrow when you're in Explorer. And then right where it says the full of view or something like that, make sure to make that from 70 to 50. Okay. Makes it, it makes it look a lot more realistic, but once you get to the first position you want it at, you can, you have, you have to press the plus sign or the equal sign whatever you want to call it um yeah and then you see, you see you'll see you have that little blue dot right there guys i'm like the worst at explaining things so i'm really sorry if you don't understand the word i'm talking about um yeah so i'm gonna keep on doing that keep on moving your camera positions and then once you finish once you have each camera position you need to click the plus sign or the equal sign, whatever one you want to call it. And by the way, you have to scroll up. Because remember the first time I did this, I could not figure out where the camera was. But I just had to scroll up. So, tip right there. <laughs> so keep on doing that. Um, yeah, keep on doing that. It's really easy, actually. This is probably the easiest part, the camera. So, yeah. So although this isn't, this, although this isn't gonna look as at good, as accurate or good as it would if it was in Blender, it, was, it still does work a lot, especially if you're like me and um, your blend, like you're fine with Blender, but your Blender just won't render. Maybe that's not right there. That's, I think it's really good. I think I might keep that. Good keep on playing it, but guys. I made this video because I know a lot of other people are going through the same thing right now. Um, their Blender, like they're found Blender, but they don't want to use Blender because Blender is being really, is being really mean and just doesn't want to render. Just like it is, well, it does render, but it's gonna, but it wants to take five, five literal, literal, five literal years to render. So yeah, that's happened to me. <laughs> so yeah. But anyway, um, do Control H to get rid of that, and then you screen record it. Um, yeah. So just um, once it's gone, if it's gone, then you can still do space bar. So yeah. <laughs>
Some 40 in my right. Bitches change.